In today's world of ever-increasing cyber threats, passwords are no longer enough. Data breaches, phishing attacks, and stolen credentials are all too common. But what if there was a better way to protect your digital life? Passwords are often the weakest link in security. They can be easily guessed, stolen, or forgotten. That's why the future of security is passwordless. Using pass keys that are more secure, easier to use, and impossible to steal. Enter Keyclock, an open source identity and access management solution that makes it easier to implement passwordless authentication. With Keyclock, you can provide your users with a seamless secure experience. Pass keys are cryptographic keys stored in your device, replacing traditional pass. They use biometric authentication like fingerprints or face recognition, making them nearly impossible to hack. So, let's dive into how to set up a passwordless authentication using Keyclock. Salut coders, this is Biski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Home greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. If you are new to this channel, may you kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos. This is another interesting video tutorials whereby I'll show you how to use pass keys. We don't want to use passwords from now on. Let's use pass keys. There are so many devices out there. You can use your face for authentication. You can use your fingerprint for authentication. You can also use keys, hardware like YubiKey. If you don't have a YubiKey, it's very cheap. And for this world, we need something that is secure. And your password will be stored in this one. So no one is going to hack your account from now on. And I will show you how to integrate this with Keyclock. Please watch this video like share comment in this era in 2024 we are no longer depend on password we are now in the world of passwordless and i will show you step by step how to achieve this with keyclock make sure you have a keyclock running and in our keyclock you visit your keyclock and you manage to log in mine is running on port 9082 yours may be on port 8080 and here yeah, I'm using Docker. If you watch my previous tutorial, I think you know how to run Keyclock by now. So if you want to know more about Keyclock, please watch my videos. I explained everything from start to finish and you'll be able to use Keyclock for security. So now I want to create a new room and my room, I will call it Fido. then I will, I will create it. After creating a new room, let's go to the authentication. From these forms, you can see we have browse, browse flow. And if you view this browse flow, you can see it allows you to enter username and password. So we don't want passwords from now on. So we just want a username and web auth end. So what I want to do, I want to duplicate this. Let me duplicate it. And this one, I will just say Fido browser and I will duplicate it. After duplicating, let me delete this one. I'm no longer need this form, so I will delete it. And I will create a new sub subflow with the username and web auth. So here, I will just say, let's say Fido authentication. Here, make it generic and click add. So after adding it, I will make this one as required. So I'll add another step here. The first step we want user to enter the username. Let's add the username form and I'll click add. Let's another, after user entering the username, we want them to authenticate with their device like YubiKey or using fingerprint, face IDs or device by adding it into cloud chain so here let's add another one another step 
this one I will kill it web so here we say web auth password less authenticator so I'll add this one so make sure you make this one is required again so people you have to put username and username and the authenticator which the device they use to register so you can test with the ub key i showed you the ub key so what we can do now this one we are done with this step so we can come to our clients we need to create a new client i can call this one no password client this is the name of my client and i click next and here i click next here so for the root root to url for now just put this one which is a key clock or up put this as your root url and click save www click clock or dot up and click save so after doing this i think we are okay i miss something in our authentication so that on registration there are things that we need to do we need to enable this one web auth register password less we need to enable it here for this to work set as default action then we come back to our let's go to our room settings and let's go to the login so in our login we need to add to allow user to register so i will enable user registration then after doing that i think i'm okay now so we have fido and we have we enable we created a new room called fido and it's running on port 9 982 so let's go to the clients and if i click no password client this one you can see it will open this so it's running on port 9082 that's where my key clock is running and the room is called fido this is the room that we created together and for the client let me copy the client i will close this one the name of a client is no password client and i'll paste it here and i'll click save so we have saved our configuration let's try to sign in so when trying to sign in you can see here we need to register because we enabled registration i'll click register here and here i'll put bisc password i'll just say admin confirm admin admin at gmail.com and admin last name test then i'll click register after clicking register you can see here it allows you us to to enter our pass keys for registration for this one let me click register you can see a, a dialogue has been shown to allow for for me to add for for me to add the pass keys and here a pass key for bisc will be saved in in icloud chain and available for all your devices so i'm using my i'm using mac here so it's allow me to enter my devices public keys into the kitchen and those do, so it will sync with all my devices if i'm connected if i'm using a uh, apple devices so if i'm now on my phone if i want to access this website it will just pick this this one and i will be able to log in so i'll click continue there i'll just say mac device and i'll click ok by doing this you can see i have managed to log in a low admin test so i am now logged in here so this is how you can use password less so if i sign out if i sign in again so here with this video if i try to sign in here it's still showing to enter my username and password so what we need to do is to come back to our inf to this authentication you can see we are still using the browse but although we have managed to do register our details so what we can do we can come to this video browser and i want to change this one to let's bind this bind flow 
and let's bind it to browse flow and we can save this after doing this let's sign out and sign in again so by doing this i'm now allowed to put my username only and click sign in if i click sign in it picked my my details which is bisky and sign in with passkey so if you are using a device i will continue signing with icloud passkey and i click continue then i'm in so this is how you can sign in on your devices using passkeys without using any password so if you are new to this channel may you kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new video let's meet on another video tutorial